Job Control Language For your program to run on the computer and perform the work that you designed it to do, your program must be processed by your operating system. For the operating system to process a program, programmers must perform certain job control tasks. These tasks are performed through the job control statements. JCL statements. JES2 control statements. JES3 control statements. The JES2 and JES3 statements are called job entry control language statements. Job control language introduction. To get your Z/OS system to accomplish work for you, you must describe to the system the work you want done and the resources your work needs. You use JCL to provide this information to ZOS. Using the information that you and the other users provide with JCL statements, Z/OS allocates the resources needed to complete all of your jobs just as the kitchen chefs divided up the work to prepare the orders of all the customers. Job Submission Process The user performs the activities on the left side of the figure, and the system performs those on the right side. In this example, ZOS and Job Entry Subsystem make up the system. For every job that you submit, you need to tell Z/OS where to find the appropriate input, how to process that input, and what to do with the resulting output. Job Control Statements You use JCL to convey this information to Z/OS through a set of statements known as job control statements. JCL's set of job control statements is quite large, enabling you to provide a great deal of information to ZOS. Most jobs, however, can be run using a small subset of these control statements. After you become familiar with the characteristics of the jobs you typically run, you might find that you need to know the details of only some of the control statements. In each job, the control statements are grouped into job steps. A job step consists of all the control statements needed to run one process, for example, a sort, a copy, or an application program. If a job needs to run more than one process, the job contains another job step for each of those programs. A job can have 1 to 255 steps. Required control statements. Every job must contain at minimum the following two types of control statements. A job statement. This statement marks the beginning of a job and assigns a name to the job. The job statement is also used to provide certain administrative information, including security, accounting, and identification information. Every job has one and only one job statement. An exec run statement. This statement marks the beginning of a job step. to assign a name to the step and identify the program or procedure to be run in the step you can add various parameters to the exec statement to customize the way the program runs every job has at least one exec statement in addition to the job and exec statements most jobs also contain one or more data definition dd statements these statements identify and describe the input and output data to be used in the step The DD statement can be used to request a previously created data set, to define a new data set, to define a temporary data set, or to define and specify the characteristics of the output. For the operating system to process a program, system programmers or application programmers must perform certain job control tasks. These tasks are performed through the job control statements. JCL statements as mentioned previously JES2 control statements or JES3 control statements. Job entry subsystems. Z/OS uses a job entry subsystem or JES to receive jobs into the operating system to schedule them for processing by Z/OS and to control their output processing. JES is the component of the operating system that provides supplementary job management, data management and task management functions such as scheduling control of job flow and the reading and writing of input and output streams on auxiliary storage devices concurrently with job execution z/os manages work as tasks and subtasks both transactions and batch jobs are associated with an internal task queue 
that is managed on a priority basis. JES is a component of Z OS that works on the front end of program execution to prepare work to be run. JES is also active on the back end of program execution to help clean up after work is performed. This activity includes managing the printing of output generated by active programs. More specifically, JES manages the input and output job queues and data. For example, JES handles the following aspects of batch processing for Z OS. Receiving jobs into the operating system. Scheduling them for processing by Z OS. Controlling their output processing. Accept jobs submitted in various ways. From ISPF through the submit command. Over a network. From a running program which can submit other jobs through the JES internal reader. From a card reader. Queue jobs waiting to be run. Multiple queues can be defined for various purposes. Queue jobs for an initiator, which is a system program that requests the next job in the appropriate queue. Accept printed output from a job while it is running and queue the output. Optionally send output to a printer or save it on spool for PSF, InfoPrint, or another output manager to retrieve. JES uses one or more disk data sets for spooling, which is the process of reading and writing input and output streams on auxiliary storage devices, concurrently with job execution, in a format convenient for later processing or output operations. SPOOL is an acronym that stands for Simultaneous Peripheral Operations Online. JES combines multiple SPOOL datasets into a single conceptual dataset. The internal format is not in a standard access method format and is not written or read directly by applications. Input jobs and printed output from many jobs are stored in the single, conceptual, SPOOL dataset. In a small Z OS system, the spool datasets might be a few hundred cylinders of disk space. In a large installation, they might be many complete volumes of disk space. There are two versions of JES, JES2 and JES3. We'll focus on these two versions in the next video. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.